This is Eljoy. Hi, Eljoy. Thanks for being with us tonight. Um, we don't have a quorum, but we decided to go ahead to hear your report and ask Q&A for about half an hour. But why don't you start with your report? Um, so, as you know, um, all of the, uh, the voting period of the elections are over. Um, I myself was physically at KPFK um, for the final day, um, uh, collecting ballots um, at the three remaining stations. We had election supervisors at each of the stations, um, collecting any paper ballots and assisting any voters um, with online votes um, on the day of. Um, we all um, sent our ballots overnight to the vendor um, to complete and go through their checks um, for, uh, uh, to, to do the results. Um, I just posted, um, maybe just before I left the office, the unofficial uh, turnout for KPFT and WBAI. Um, and uh, so those were posted to the elections website. It'll be sent um, to the board and to the committees um, uh, as well um, in a separate email. Um, all three stations met form, um, so everyone can breathe a sigh of relief uh, about that, particularly at WBAI. All three stations in both categories met form. Um, the vendor, um, I should have um, the final um, documents, just like we have for KPFA, for KPFT and WBAI. Um, those should be up tomorrow, um, just as we go through um, the final review. Um, and KCFK, as you know, the ballot was different. It takes just a little bit more time. I don't have a specific day. It should be this week. Um, it should be um, tomorrow. Oh, let me get that quote. Hold on. Oh, um, we, um, you know, as the bylaws give, um, you know, it's 15 days to actually um, produce the results. Um, and so I know people were emailing, texting, calling, and as I was responding to folks, um, I gave the, you know, uh, general update of how much the time the bylaws allows us. I did not want to rush the process um, because when you rush things, you miss things and make mistakes. Um, and so we wanted to make sure um, that we were doing it correctly and doing it as um uh, in a timely fashion, um, as you know, that you guys need to proceed with um, appointments and selection um, or election for national board process. Um, so I did not want to rush. We wanted to make sure we did everything properly um, so that there would be no confusion or problems towards the end. Um, so we, um, just like um, we did for KPFA, we um, you know, posted the, we'll post the updated quorum numbers. Um, KPFT and WBAI is already up. KPFK should be up um, by tomorrow, unless there's some um, um, issue. And um, then we'll have the files just like we had for KPFA um, put on the website as well. Um, I also have begun collecting um, materials, hard copy materials from the election supervisors while I was in um, California and went to Oakland. Um, I also drove over to Berkeley and got materials um, uh, from there, from KTFA, and collecting all of the reports from the election supervisors um, and the materials. Uh, to, we've been working on the final report all throughout this process. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, it will just spend um, the next, um, uh, the following time to just make sure we organize all of the information um, as well as receive all of the information and materials from the vendor. Um, according to the bylaws, um, as such, I instructed the vendor not to destroy anything um, from the election. Typically, you know, after the ballot count, they just destroy paper um, ballots and things received. Um, they already know that that um, is, should not be the case. Um, all of that information will be uh, packed up and organized um, and will be sent to the secretary as per uh, your practice. 
um, as well as organizing um, our tracking database um, and all of this information will be um, not only in the final report and indexed and categorized um, so that Pacifica has um, a, a, you know all of the information pertaining to uh, this election. Um, as well as any donations that were received. Um, as you know, the first batch of donations were sent just before, or two weeks before um, uh, the holiday, um, and we'll be sending those to the stations, um, any other um, donations received from the station as well. Um, I think that is it. Um, in terms of an um, update, oh, um, also um, we'll be I'll issue a separate memo on um, the uh, final budget and finances for the election. Um, um, so that'll uh, also be not only included in the final report, but it'll be a, a special issue on memo because I know that there um, the ED has asked me for that um, as well. Um, as I believe that the board would also like to know <laughs> um, what the total amount was spent in comparison um, based upon not only previous elections, but what the proposed budget was with, at the beginning of this process. Um, so that is, um, um, you know, sort of a brief update. And as I said, things will be um, um, being published and put out over um, the remaining days of this week. Um, so that's that. I'm sure you guys have questions. If I have answers to them, I'll give you answers. And if I don't, it will probably be um, have to wait to another reporter memo. Um, so that's all I have right now. Okay, thank you very much, Eljoy. Um, I, I was unclear about one thing you said as far as the dates of uh, announcing the results at WBAI and KPFT. Can you say again when you expect that to happen? Uh, probably tomorrow um, at the, I would say probably tomorrow, if not first thing Wednesday morning. And that would be a certified result? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Um, and for KPFK, what's your guess? KPFK, I don't have a specific, hold on, let me see. Uh, um, work on KPFK. I don't have, yeah, I don't have a specific day for KPFK yet. Um, okay. but it should be toward, it should be towards the end of the week. Um, um, you know, obviously, again, their, their ballot was different and required a lot more work. Right. Okay. Thanks. All right, the floor is open for questions. 